your victory is close to you than before. Because you're born to win. However, there is something too strong for the devil to break in you. And that is what determines your victory in all areas of life. It is the God kind of life in you, which begins with new birth. Our topic today is winning in battles of life. Hallelujah. Your case is not closed until you decide to close it. No matter where you may be right now or what your situation looks like, be assured that you are born to win. Life is a battle fight. And everyone who must succeed who must succeed must put up a fight to get it. How violent you are able to fight determines the degree of victory you drive from your battles. Understand that there can never be a winner without a fight. It is only at the end of a battle that you can boldly declare a winner. It is sad to see many believers live and walk without a sense of war. We fight daily. And these battles are mostly spiritual. If the devil is fighting against your progress, then it is spiritual to fight back. 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14. The bad news is, you were born for a battle. But there is good news. You were born to win the battle. The Bible says, The one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. Satan isn't afraid of you. He's afraid of who is in you. Hallelujah. And that is God. You are ordained to triumph continuously in Christ. That situation you may be going through is a one battle if only you can trust god for your victory you were not redeemed by god to be defeated by the devil at all you are you are born an overcomer therefore no situation is permitted to defeat you so you need not to be afraid of anything that may be comforting you rather be assured of your everlasting victory in christ there is a clearly no battle that is beyond you if it was, it was beyond you, God would not uh, have allowed it to come your way. God knows your capacity as a winner. But you must believe in that, in that winning spirit that is in you. Believe in it. The challenge may look tame. The sea may be raging violently. The storm may be so high, so tempestuous. But in all these things, you are more than a conqueror through Christ who gives you victory. The only way you can win is to be on God's team. To be on God's side, to be a part of God's army because we are fighting not for victory. We are fighting from victory. Victory is not a distinction. Victory is the beginning point for the child of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, in this life, there is stumbling blocks to, that can expose to winners. Spiritual examples of winners. Take an example from scriptures of those that have fought valiantly and won victoriously their battles. This should spoil you that the team you are on is a winning team. So you are not permitted to lose at all. Job was confronted with this battle of his life. Job 1, 14-22. He lost everything he had and he has ever worked for it in one day. His children, property and everything were gone. However, he chose to trust God in his darkest hour. At the end of the battle, to prove his victory, God restored to him twice of what he lost. That battle you are facing in your life is not as tough as Job's, and it cannot be in Jesus' name. And even though you feel like your whole world is crumbling before you, it is the time to fight the hardest. Understand that devil wants to use that challenge to separate you from God's love, like intended with Job. However, because you you have made the right decision like Job, not to be deterred, you will overcome like he did. Yes, 
David confronted Goliath and he won. 1 Samuel 14, 45 to 51. He was convinced beyond any any reasonable doubt that God would give him victory and he confessed it. He faced opposition from his own brother but did not give it give in to the discouragement. He was told words of discouragement from the king and the people, but he overcome by sharing his testimonies of the faithfulness of God in the past. He was strengthened by Goliath's appearance and boastful words, but he considered the greatness of his God rather than the greatness of the challenge. He witnessed the victory he believed and confessed beyond the expectations of the people, and his God was glorified. Your Goliath may be a champion of many years, but your God has never lost a battle before. Believe and confess your victory in him and through him, and your Goliath will fall. Jabez overcome the battle of spiritual resistance and stagnation. He was faced with spiritual forces that prevented progress and breakthrough in his life. So what are you facing now? That thing you're facing can never be greater than God. If you don't know what to do, let me tell you what to do. Go in for fasting. Fast as the Spirit of God directs you. Leave everything to God and praise God. Keep on praising God. Keep on worshipping God with praise and thanksgiving. Is that only way you will kill the enemy? And when God saw that this my child is going through a lot and he still be joyful in praising him, God will do something. God will never leave you alone nor forsake you. He is the Alpha and Omega. He is your Father. He will never leave you, child of God. Jesus is the Lord of hosts. May you be blessed in Jesus' name.